Welcome to SIPS LCA and EPD Explain, presented by the Structural Insulated Panel Association. We're going to take just a few minutes to share with you the highlights of the first industry-wide LCA and EPD for structural insulated panels. The LCA was conducted by ESG Impacts, and the EPD provider was EPD Hub. Both companies are third-party certified and follow strict protocols and industry standards. If these terms are new to you, please hit pause and go to sips.org forward slash resources forward slash sustainability or the Structural Insulated Panel Association YouTube page where you will find our first video in the series called EPDs and LCAs Explained. The report analyzed two construction methods for a 2,000 square foot, two-story home in Houston, Texas. The first using structural insulated panels, and the second using traditional stick frame construction. The LCA used a triple bottom line cost-benefit analysis to evaluate the environmental, social, and economic impacts of both homes over a lifespan of 75 years. All costs and benefits were then converted back to their 2024 net present value to help owners and builders compare real-world benefits. The study looked at three different types of structural insulated panels, blanks, blanks with openings, and ready to assemble, which would include fenestration parameters that are factory finished with dimensional lumber, making them immediately ready for doors and windows. The environmental impacts considered include the manufacturing of raw materials used in the production, packaging, and related materials. Also, fuels used by machines and handling of waste formed in the production process of the manufacturing facilities, transportation and installation, product use and maintenance, and end of life for the product has also been estimated. And the results? The Structural Insulated Panel House is the winner! The study cites significantly better thermal, indoor air quality, constructability, labor, sustainability, resilience, greenhouse warming potential, and embodied carbon advantage. The study concluded that professionals seeking to reduce energy use and minimize the carbon footprint of their buildings utilize SIPs as a cost-effective solution for exterior walls, floors, and roof systems. SIPs cut down on framing time, significantly reduce construction waste, and ensure greater job site quality control through prefabrication. Furthermore, SIPs are an enabling technology to meet the Architecture 2030 challenge for net zero carbon neutral buildings today. And SIPs added asset value over stick frame construction was a whopping $66,036. The analysis concluded the return on investment in six months was 328%. That means for every dollar spent on SIP construction, homeowners see $5.50 in benefits. Much of this has to do with the fact that SIPs are just very energy efficient and reduce carbon emissions between 40 and 60% less than stick frame construction. SIP's global warming potential is less than most insulation alone. This is because the insulation type used for structural insulated panels, which is expandable polystyrene or graphite expandable polystyrene, is already low in embodied carbon and highly energy efficient. But also, the wood and structural insulated panels act as a carbon sequestration system. This is because trees breathe carbon dioxide in and exhale oxygen. So since trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it in their fibers, it is considered sequestration of carbon. This accounts for the negative 2.41 for structural insulated panels global warming potential. To dig deeper into these numbers or to download the reports, please visit sips.org.